UPL has been a multi-decade, you know, organization, um, right? And uh, and also, it you know they have they have also been like you know a series of you know acquisitions, you know, etc. And then um, to add to that, uh, you have you know multiple geographies, multiple you know product lines, right? So from that perspective, how do you you know what would be the best practices that you would suggest uh, you know other digital leaders to uh, to kind of implement when you're trying to, you know, you did mention uh, about not, about basically not going and investing where you don't really see a clear problem and a clear opportunity for impact, right? Now, how do you kind of, you know, navigate through the organization uh, in, you know, multiple geographies, multiple lines of business, multiple lines of function, et cetera, uh, because eliciting problems and then being able to kind of, uh, kind of you know, uh, stack ranking. What are the problems that are uh, that are basically like are going to create the by solving which you're going to create the biggest impact. You know, eliciting them and getting the leader participation itself uh, is kind of a challenge, um, right? So how do you kind of how do you what would be your advice on how to navigate this whole you know spectrum and establish some early wins that will uh, essentially buy you the confidence of your uh, leaders yeah so like i said right so digital transformations almost one third of digital transformation initiatives uh, don't see the light of the day right so uh, and that is because they do not have proper leader backing and uh, they are not backed by the leaders now uh, what what we need to be very sure and very uh, you know ready from very the very beginning is when you're setting this organization digital organization it has the topmost leadership backing and for example the ceo's backing or for that matter uh, the global ceo's backing or whatever is the organization head of that company and uh, it needs to work under that umbrella now once we have that and if you, you have to have basically you have the digital chief digital officer has to have a seat at the table of the ceo Right. For example, to have a conversation with the functional leaders, who is a sales lead or a, say, a supply chain lead or manufacturing lead. And that's where we, we, we say that a lot. And uh, that if we do our jobs right, we don't have to go and talk about what we have done. It is the leaders who are on the table of that CEO's office or CEO staff who will come and say, this is a great initiative that has been done by this digital team. And in terms of that, the very most, the most important piece of it is, is to have alignment with the leaderships of those functions and the projects that you are accepting. Now, what might seem like a very lucrative problem to a digital leader, because it's uh, easy to solve, it's uh, done across multiple companies across the countries, might not be a pain point. And that's why I keep on saying that identify those problems. It's always going to be a challenge. And for, for one of our exercises, we, we identified 15, 16 problems in one region. Now, obviously, we, our bandwidth is also limited. We are not able to solve all problems. So we take that problems, do a more deeper focused uh, understanding of what these are, and then have the leaders back and say, yes, this exactly is a problem in this particular region. And I think there is a global applicability of that problem statement, right? Uh, so getting that buyer leaders by and the way that we do it is make sure that the leaders are 100% uh, into the problem solving process as well. So we have reviews with the topmost leaders on how the progress of these projects are and how we have leaderboard scores across. And so and digital transformation is a journey. It's a educational journey for the company, for the company leaders. And it kind of becomes uh, a norm where people are understanding where we are headed digitally. And so it, it becomes sort of an intrinsic competition saying, OK, I am doing these numbers to digital. Maybe, you know, that country is doing slightly better. We need to catch up. So a leadership focus on what your use cases and problems are is the key for digital transformation success. Your leaders at the, the CXOs or, or, the, or the leaders of those functions need to be aligned. If they are not aligned, uh, you're, you might be doing a great job, but it will be very hard defending what you've done. So that's a very critical piece. And I, I, I a lot of the digital transformations fail because they do not have leadership alignment. Yeah, absolutely. And 